Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back to the 750 Super Duty build. This will be a, a, a fairly quick video, but in this video we are going to design our instrument panel. And this, for all of the airplanes that I built, is probably the most fun part of the entire project. Is actually just planning the instrument panel. It's just really neat to get a visual idea of how the instrument panel is going to look, where all the instruments will be, where the switches will be. It's a really neat thing to do. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do on this video. So let's go into my office and I'll show you how I got started. All right guys, here is what I have done. I have downloaded pictures of all the instruments that I'll have in my panel from the internet. And I use a program called Microsoft Publisher, which is a really old program. In fact, I think I've been using it since the 90s. <laughs> but what I like about it is you can take a photo and on the screen in Publisher, it has rulers on the top and bottom, and I can actually resize things uh, in inches. So I can, I can print these out to the actual size that they are. And uh, what, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is cut these out, and then I will have all the instruments that I can slide and move around on the instrument panel and see how they all fit. So. The first step is to get these cut out. Uh, here's the first one. I now have a Dynon D10. Let's get the rest of them cut out. Here is my pile of instruments. Too bad they're not real. All right, now the first thing I want to do is like many other people, I'm going to make this panel so that it probably has a hinge on the bottom and can fold down, which will give me access behind the panel. So I think what I'm going to do first is draw some lines on here because what I need to do is I'm going to cut most of this away, but I'm going to leave a, a lip around the edge so that I can put a couple nut plates and then what I'll do is I'll get another piece of aluminum to cut this size that will go on top of here and then screw on. The way this mounts to the airplane is there's a bar on the frame that goes around the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line to where the bar will probably be about right here. So let me draw a line on here. All right, so I know I can't put anything below this line because like I said, there's, there's a bar that goes in there. And then there's probably gonna be, I probably only need, well, let's say, let's say about three quarters of an inch all the way around. So I need to draw a line on here all the way around about three quarters of an inch. All right, now I'm just gonna see how this works. I have this little wooden block. I'm gonna hold the pen up next to it and then use my finger as a guide on here and we'll get a line. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm not using this to actually build the panel right now, but it just gives me an idea of where the layout needs to go. It worked pretty well. All right, so here's, here are my layout lines. So I know that I can't mount any instrument past that line like that. That probably won't work because this will be left of the panel. There will be nut plates, like I said, in here. And then everything inside here, this will be completely gone and open. And then when I put the bigger piece of aluminum on top, 
I'll put a hinge down here and it'll fold down. So let's lay these out and see how they fit. All right, I'm gonna do this kind of from the side here so the camera can get kind of a straight on look. So I know that I want these two. And I have this, the third screen here. What my plan is right now is to put this right at the top of the center console. So is that in the screen? Yeah, you guys can see that that's, that might go right there. And then I have the comm radio. The, uh, now I've been thinking about this a lot, so I kind of have an idea of how I want these to go. So let's say we put those three here, and then we have the intercom. Now the intercom, I noticed on my airplane, I never ever need to adjust this. I never turn it off. It's just, it's something you set and you forget about. So I, I, I think I wanna not put it in the center here. What I'm thinking is putting it on the side over here. These, and if you don't know from Dynon, all of these components, they make either two ways. You can mount them horizontal or vertical. And uh, depending on which way you order it, you know, is which way the words are printed on there and stuff. So I cut out all of mine on the horizontal, but let's just say for now, I put that on the vertical right there. And then I have the uh, Garmin 175, which is an IFR GPS that I could mount maybe right there. I actually kind of wanted it right here on top of the, the PFD. Um, and I could probably do that. In fact, I might even be able to take these. If I move all these, let's say closer together like this, and then this, what happens if I put this over here like that? That would work pretty well too. Then the, G the GPS would go right in the center. That looks pretty good, I think. And then I still have the, this um, intercom. You know what I could do? I could mount the intercom on the very top part of the center console. So one of these will go on the center console. Maybe this one here. I'd probably rather have this one up here like that. So maybe put the, the intercom on the center console here. <clears throat> I could put it up here like that, but it kind of unbalances the panel. I don't really like that. So I'd probably put it here. I think that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Everything's uh, within easy reach. I actually kind of like this. And then over here, you know, I'll have the throttle. This will be kind of just like my cruiser. I'll have the throttle, the flaps, the trim. Um, and then on here, what I'm thinking is if on my cruiser, on the center console here, I have the key and then all, all the lights for the switcher, the, all the switches for the lights and stuff like that. But I'm thinking on here, there's enough room under here. I could probably put the switches here maybe have a line of circuit breakers here for everything. And then uh, there's plenty of room around here just for little things like uh, the push-pull for the cabin heat, the ELT indicator. Um, and I also have a couple other things coming from Dynon. I have a autopilot disconnect switch and a dimmer for the, the screens. Um, in fact, I think there's this dimmer for each one. The dimmer I didn't need, you can dim this, the screens from the buttons here, but it's actually a little bit easier to have a separate dimmer. So I have those, but let me know you can mount that kind of stuff here and here, and maybe even on the center console and stuff like that. So I think I really like this layout. Everything fits really nicely there. I think that might be the, uh, the way I do my panel. So this is fun to play with. I can move things around and, and play with, uh, with other ideas. That's what's kind of neat about cutting these out on paper and, and having them. So anyway, like I said, I've been thinking about this a lot over the last couple of weeks. So I kind of had a good idea of what I wanted. In fact, originally I was going to have this as the 10 inch screen. And then this is the seven inch and then the back up here because I saw this picture here of a, a sample Dynon panel. And I thought this panel was actually a cutout of the Zenith panel, so it all fit really nice. <laughs> and then I realized that, that, that this panel you're seeing in the picture is just a sample panel that Zenith made. 
I don't think it really goes to anything. So um, uh, what I had to do is I had to kind of, instead of doing this one as a, the 10 inch, I'll have the two seven inches, which actually looks good. I think this actually might even look a little bit better. So uh, that's, uh, I guess that's it. All right, guys, I hope you liked this quick little video. Uh, hopefully I gave you some ideas on how you can start to plan out your panel. Go on the internet, download uh, photos of the instruments you want. If you go on the Dynon website or probably any of the websites of the instruments you want, it will tell you what size, what physical size they are. And there's probably a lot of programs out there that will resize those pictures. And you can print them out to the actual size. You can lay them on your panel like I did and you can start to plan your panel. Even if you haven't even started your kit yet, or maybe you just got your kit and you're not even close to ready for the panel, it's still something that's fun to do when you're not working on something else. So I'm back to work. I have a really busy couple weeks coming up. As soon as I get back, I'm going to join the forward fuselage here to the aft fuselage, and we're really gonna start moving along on the Super Duty. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on the next video.